So, Tracy, how would you describe yourself? I've got a dark look. I've got a heavy brow. I've got a crooked smile. Uh, really, really, really dark brown eyes. I've got quite elegant hands. And I have a very loud laugh. Since so much of your actual work, your art, is autobiographical, how much are you actually a part of your art? And is that reflected in how you dress yourself at all? I think there's a kind of traciness about how I do things and how I dress. And like part of this whole Marks and Spencer's thing for me that was really important was that I had to look like me because I think it's so important to feel and look yourself. And I think when women get in a mess is when they've been forced or pushed into dressing the way they don't want, don't want to dress. And a lot of women wear shoes and they can't walk in them. I wear high shoes maybe once or twice a week. The rest of the time I have to wear practical because I want to be able to run, I want to be able to move fast. That's more important to me than someone thinking my shoes look good. When I say m and to you, what do you think of? I think of the cashmere cardigans that I buy every winter, and my favourite colour is navy blue one. And then I try to get the ones that are the weird colours that you can get really cheap, the colours that no one else wanted. I, I was just wondering when that little girl realised she was going to be an artist. In 1997, when I went to my opening at the South London Gallery, it was when I realised that I could do it. You can have ambition, you can have desire, you can have wanting. Only when it actually comes to you and meets you do you realise that it's possible. Do you take pride in being a, a, a role model for other women? When I got my CBE, what was brilliant about it was that um, for me, it was like the establishment was saying, well done, you've, you've achieved something. Not the same way as whatever, the same route that everyone else would take, but nevertheless, we're not going to penalise you for it. It means that people that feel maybe outside of society can identify with me and see that there is another way of doing things. 